Nice up travel down from the Midlands to be here with you today, guys. Very nice. Nice to get a little bit of time to myself, if I'm honest. In the car and on the train, don't get a lot of time to myself. So I've got a two-year-old daughter at home. She doesn't respect privacy. <laughs> you know? The other day, I was sat on the toilet and she just burst into the bathroom unannounced and just poked me directly in the penis. <laughs> She went, Daddy, what's that? <laughs> and with children, you've got to be quite open and honest and frank from an early age to educate them. So I said, my darling, that is sexual assault. <laughs> Well, my wife's very different to me though, she's very prim and proper. Unlike me, it's from your pocket you see before you. She's quite a prim and proper lady. She's obsessed, I don't know if anyone else is, she's obsessed with bags. Bags are a big thing. She's got bags for every occasion. She's got like a Radley travel bag. She's got a Cap Kidston work bag. She's even got a Prada kit bag that she uses when we go swimming together. Ah, and then she gets really upset and embarrassed. I just use a 5p carrier bag to go swimming. <laughs> but I don't see anything an expensive pair of swimming trunks can do that a Tesco's bag with leg holes cut in it can't. <laughs> good to go, good to go. Uh, she says, and she quite likes when we go swimming together and go to the gym and stuff, because she says since we've had our daughter that I've put on a little bit of weight and that I've let myself go. It's nice of her, isn't it? Don't agree. I think if I put weight on, I haven't let myself go. If anything, I've just collected more men. <laughs> I think I've really found myself. That's what I think it is. Now, I've got really bad eating habits, that's the problem. But like, I've just got awful eating habits. I eat, I'll eat anything anywhere. I've got no qualms about it. Really. Like, the other day, I went out for like, lunch with my cousin, and we were eating our sandwiches. And without even thinking about it, I just ate something directly off the table. Yeah. I saw it, and without thinking about it, I picked it up and stuck it straight in my mouth and carried on eating. My cousin looked at me and he went, that, that is fucking disgusting. He said, firstly, you got that off the table, that's gross. Secondly, that wasn't off your plate. That was on the table where we sat down. He said, it's no wonder you're putting on weight like that, man. Do you know how many calories there are in a tea light candle? <laughs> you know, I've got bad habits, bad eating habits. Other bad habits I've got is, uh, I don't know if I those. My car, I've been driving around quite a lot doing comedy. My car is a fucking tip. It's absolutely disgusting. You know your car's bad when you push the clutch down and what you hear is crisps. <laughs> That's not a good sign. If I have to give anyone a lift, I just tell them I've been a victim of fly tipping. It's a lot easier than telling them how lazy I'd be. You know, if a cat crawled in through the back window and died on the back seat, it'd only be like the third worst thing in the car. You probably wouldn't even notice it was there until you reached back and tried to use it to wipe the windscreen with. And I've got like a, I've got like a leak around the door, around the door seal, a little dripping. It's dripping water onto my passenger seat. And it started growing like fungus and <laughs> mushrooms. It looks like I'm driving a mobile farmer's market. I'm also quite worried it's going to drip onto the dead cat. Because the last thing I need is that getting reanimated and having a zombie cat jump out with the M42. That'd be awful. My wife's car's just as bad. Hers is just as filthy. Hers is all on the outside. We just live on a normal housing estate. But somehow it looks like we live on a fucking farm. It's covered in like mud and horse shit. <laughs> Got, I wish my wife was this dirty written on it. It's got cartoon penises drawn on it. She wants me to clean it. She says she's quite embarrassed to drive it. And our marriage counselor says that I need to learn to communicate verbally. Does <laughs> 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 anyone here come from a, anyone come from a competitive family? Yeah, who, who said yeah that? Oh, fuck off, you like. What are you competitive about, mate, in your family? Everything, sport, things like that. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, have you got games against each other and stuff? Intellectual games? Alright, calm down. <laughs> See, we're competitive in my family, but not fucking intellectually like this guy here. Not like that. What we do is we do a thing called pound bet. Basically, you just bet them a pound just to do something fucking gross. That's what we do. Not like, you remember the Pythagoras' theorem? Give you a pound! Not like that, not like that. And my younger brother, he's ten years younger than me, he's been always been, when he was younger, it was always real easy to get to do these like, pound bets. So like, I was an awful lot older brother, man. I used to have to do all sorts of shit for a pound. Like once, I saw him drink a whole cup of washing up water oh. for a pound. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. He did it out of a wine glass because he said that made it easier. <laughs> but that's like licking a tramp's face and then saying it's okay because he's wearing a wedding dress. <laughs> yeah, really. I watched him eat an entire wedding meal with chopsticks for a pound. Now, it wasn't a Chinese wedding and it wasn't a Chinese meal. Starter, soup. <laughs> Main, pork steak. Just stabbed him up, straight in. I watched him eat a crisp off the floor for a pound. That doesn't sound that bad, does it really, to be honest? I watched him eat a crisp off the floor from underneath a wardrobe for a pound. I watched him eat a crisp off the floor from underneath a wardrobe in a rented house. <laughs> But we were clearing out <laughs> for a pound. Yeah? We lifted the wardrobe up and I saw the crisp and you know, I thought, that's a good one. Quite a pound. Uh, and he got it, stuck it straight in his mouth. And then my mum smacked him around the head for being stupid. And it flew out his mouth, all spitty and gross, and landed on the carpet. Did not want to miss an opportunity, guys. <laughs> straight back in. No, 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 no. As he got older though, as he got older, he got a lot harder to like convince to do these horrible tasks. And he started to realise that he's probably going to make him ill or something, you know? Um, and so what I had to do was I had to sort of disguise my bets there. So once I had a muffin with only one bite out of it. And I said to him, if you can eat all that in one go, I'll give you a pound. And he went, what have you done to it? <laughs> I haven't done anything to it. Honest. What do you think I've done to it, guys? Anyone? Spit on it? Did you just say spit on it there? Anyone else want to have a quick chip in? Pardon? Found it? Yeah, good to get out again. Still a cock in it? That's what the bite mark was, it's a fucking indentation. <laughs> someone, someone the other day just went, cheers for me. No, you see. I haven't done anything to it. Honestly, it wasn't my muffin. I found it behind a picture frame in our grandparents' retirement home. <laughs> now, all that horrible stuff that was going through your head, all that could have potentially happened to it, you know? For not knowing it'll kill you, you know? I should feel bad, right? Because I'm, I'm his older brother and, uh, you know, he's taken advantage of it, it's not very nice. But he, all through his life, he got better treatment than me. So I didn't particularly feel guilty, you know. Like, I think I was probably the test child. I think I was the canary down the parenting mind. Because he got better treatment than me all the way through his fucking life, yeah? He went to a nicer nursery school than me. He went to a better primary school than me. I went to a secondary school. He went to a grammar school. Yeah, he went on every school trip. He went to Barcelona. He went to Madrid. He went skiing in France. His first car, his first car was an Audi A3. He got a new bike every year at Christmas. He got all the Pokemon cards that he wanted, all the new games consoles, all the new games. They got him Sky TV, they got him season tickets to the football. They even got a fucking quad bike at one point, yeah? They got the Ryzen Air Ambulance, they got his own team of brain surgeons, his own living nose, his own living life. They got one of those expensive wicker coffins, he got a big party to celebrate his life. They got a fucking bench named after him in the park. <laughs> What did I get? <laughs> Second hand Audi A3. Something <laughs> else. 